हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बेस्ट सॉल्यूशंस इंग्लिश क्लासेस दिस इज प्रतिभा आनंद टुडेज टॉपिक इज कंडीशनल्स नाउ वी स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक कंडीशनल्स दिस वर्ड इज मेड अप ऑफ विद द वर्ड कंडीशन कंडीशन मींस शर्त कंडीशनल सेंटेंसेस में हम उन वाक्यों को ट्रांसलेट करने के रूल्स सीखेंगे जिनमें किसी चीज़ के घटित होने के लिए कोई शर्त रखी जाती है जैसे यदि तुम मेहनत करोगे तो अच्छे नंबरों से पास होगे या यदि तुम जंक फूड खाओगे तो बीमार पड़ जाओगे तो इन वाक्यों से आपको समझ में आ गया होगा कि कंडीशनल सेंटेंसेस में हम किन तरह के वाक्यों का फॉर्मेशन सीखेंगे कंडीशनल क्लॉजेज आर अ टाइप ऑफ एडवर्बियल क्लॉज दे एक्सप्रेस कंडीशंस दे आर सबॉर्डिनेट और डिपेंडेंट एडवर्बियल क्लॉजेज ऑफ कंडीशन दे आर ऑल्सो नोन एज इफ क्लॉजेज बिकॉज वी फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज इफ टू एक्सप्रेस अ कंडीशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ इट इज सनी टूमोरो वी विल गो फॉर अ पिकनिक सो इन दिस सेंटेंस इफ यू विल सी द मेन क्लॉज वी विल गो फॉर अ पिकनिक In this sentence, for going picnic, there is a condition that if it is a sunny day tomorrow, so it is a conditional sentence. Now we will see the formation of the zero conditional sentences. We use the zero conditional if clause to show that something will definitely result because of something else. we use it for general truths when an event always occurs and when something is considered standard practice now we will see the forms of the verb in the zero conditional sentences so the verb in the if clause we will always use present tense and in the main clause we use verb in present tense or sometimes we use the imperative verbs such as order request or an advice words such as clean your room now we will see the example of zero conditional sentence rice grows well here if there is enough water so it is the general truth that if there is enough water rice grows well here so it is an example of the zero conditional sentence now we will see the first conditional sentences we use the first conditional or type 1 if clause to talk about a situation that is likely to happen it expresses an open condition or possibility we use it to give permissions commands and advice and to denote ability it is also used for things that are likely to occur means jinke hone ki sambhavna hoti hai if we talk about the hindi formation of these sentences we get agar ye ho ya hoga to wo hoga now we will talk about the forms of the verbs in the first conditional sentences so in if clause we use present tense of verb and in main clause we use will plus verb first form and at some places we use present tense or present continuous tense in if clause and in the main clause we use modal verbs or imperative verbs for example if samir is free he will join us for dinner in this sentence you can see here i have used is in if clause that is present tense of verb and in main clause i have used here will join so it is will plus verb first form so this is an example of first conditional sentence now see the second conditional sentences we use the second conditional or type 2 if clause to talk about a situation 
that is unlikely to happen or imaginary the past tense in the type 2 if clause or improbable condition now we will see the forms of the verbs in the second conditional tenses talk about the hindi sentence of this formation usme hum paate hain agar ye hota ya hua hota to wo hota so in if clause we will use past tense or past continuous tense and in the main clause we use would plus verb first form and at some places with the past continuous tense we use would could might plus verb first form for example if i had an umbrella i would not get wet in the first part of sentence where you are watching if clause i have used here past tense that is had and in the main clause i have used would not get that is would plus verb first form so this is an example of the second conditional sentence at last the third conditional sentences we use the third conditional or type 3 if clause to refer to an unreal condition in the past it implies that if things had happened differently in the past the results would have been different if we talk about the hindi formation of these sentences we get agar ye hota ya hua hota to wo ho gaya hota ya wo ho chuka hota now we will see the forms of the verbs in the third conditional sentences so in if clause we use past perfect tense means had plus verb third form and in main clause we use would have plus verb third form or we can say past participial form of verb now we will see the example of third conditional sentence if i had answered correctly our team would have won the quiz in this sentence you can easily understand that in if clause i have used past perfect tense that is had answered and in main clause i have used the verb would have won that is would have plus verb third form so this is an example of the third conditional type of sentences we can use the if clause at the beginning or at the end of the sentence if it is at the beginning it is always followed by a comma for example if the chairman approves the plan comma the project will begin if it follows the main clause we do not use comma for example the project will begin if the chairman approves the plan i hope you clearly understood this important topic conditional sentences thanks for watching my video